Frenzy Pingwing here. Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Kerbal Space Program, following up the career one I've made before. We're going to get a new contract. This contract is about a rendezvous uh, of two vessels in orbit of Kerbin. A rendezvous is French for a meeting. Uh, we do not have any uh, coupling nodes yet, we do not have coupling ports, so we're going to just rendezvous. I'm going to use a specific rocket for this one. This is the Cocoon 1. I've designed this one to orbit both Mun and Minmus during the same mission. It has place for one astronaut, Kerbonaut. Uh, a lot of science uh, inside, and if you want to take the science of the module out, you will have to perform an EVA because it doesn't return back in the atmosphere. Um, it's uh, a very cheap cocoon, uh, 53,000 units, so it's the reason I chose this rocket, so it doesn't take too much of my credits. We're going to rendezvous uh, a satellite I've already orbited. Uh, even before the, the previous episode. It's uh, the Munchkin 1 probe. It's a, a probe I've uh, deposited in orbit. I've, I've, I've left it behind when returning uh, with Jebediah on an earlier uh, mission. I've just uh, put the satellite above us, as you can see on the navball. Launch of the Cocoon 1. We're ready to chase the satellite and uh, retrieve some vital uh, science data gathered uh, in, in the past days uh, back to uh, back to Kerbin. Here we go, I completely overshoot so I, I drop my uh, my trust. Here I'm uh, full trusting again on the on the main engine and as you can see we're completely chasing it so I'm going to already level and make sure that we're getting up speed be beneath it. I'm almost going to drop my fairing right here And now we're going to check out the um, our orbital screen as we are now circling Kerbin already. So for a blind launch, no, not completely blind, but just for doing this like this, it's uh, not a bad place to intersect. So now we're going to fiddle around with the orbital maneuver nodes and um, make sure that we get an intersection that isn't too far a part of each, each other, but also, and that's what I'm going to check when I found inclination to be correct, there we go, I'm going to slow down because as you can see my orbit right now is too fast, we will just fly past way too, way too hard. So there, maybe we're going a little bit close back to the atmosphere with this one, but I'm th uh, I think we can uh, we can manage that. Alright, this is something I can live with. 11 kilometers apart, that's a maneuver I want to perform. So here we go, as you can see, the science module is a little bit red, so it's damaged during ascent as, uh, as I was going way too fast in the atmosphere, so we got the same issues as you would get at a re-entry, because I was going that fast. Here we go, we're approaching the satellite and I completely forgot to make a note uh, to make sure that I'm going the right direction which means I had not much time anyhow we're getting close dropping that stage and using the final one which has enough delta V for Mun and Minmus so we can fly our way towards it it's 16 kilometers apart right now so we're uh, adjusting speeds towards the target Three we're using uh, 5, 6 meters per second now. I'm getting towards it. And let's hope we do not crash into it. So what we are going to get is this satellite that is scanning um, the, the surface of Kerbin. Um, this one is uh, pretty straight. The other one's inclination, as you can see, is uh, more polar to get more surface covered, of course. So, how close are we already? 5 kilometers with a 60 meter per second offset.
can see in orbit where the intersection will be the closest again uh, after your maneuver, so you don't have to waste a lot of fuel to get there. We just flew past it with uh, 200 meters. But what I'm going to have happening right now is Jebediah's most feared experience in space. Oh boy, oh boy. Why didn't I use RCS? Whoa! That was very, very close. Jebediah is very uh, not emotional about what just happened. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But uh, this this uh, was sufficient. This was sufficient to get the contract. So yay! This was um, a rendezvous. Anyway, we're still going to get the science out of it. So I'm going to park close with a zero meter per second offset compared to the probe. And there we go. Jebediah leaves his cocoon and goes for the Munchkin one probe. I'm going to hit the lights on so that you can see how this. Is just a stage actually of another uh, one person rocket that returned back to Kerbin. Uh, nice view. So here it is. This one is scanning for days now um, using the solar panels to keep it charged up. But there is a lot of science inside. Well, I'm hoping there is. Yes, yes, this is not a bad thing. We've collected the science data and now enjoy the view before returning inside Cocoon. After uh, grasping the, the, the how little the Kerbals are, more about that later by the way, um, we're going to see if we can get some science from that damaged science module. Not bad, there was some science. Sadly not in our service module. And as I said before, yeah, we need to have an EVA performed to collect that data as well and return it to Kerbin. Get back in there, say goodbye to the Munchkin probe that will continue. As you can see here, this is what already has been scanned. Um, it's uh, mainly the other satellite that is um, scanning the most surface, but this was the first one, this uh, little satellite of ours. So let's orient, say goodbye to the satellite, and uh, make our way back home. We're going to burn retrograde and use all the fuel left in this little stage to leave the satellite behind that is scanning just as his brother Munchkin probe who is doing a more polar orbit. The inclination is completely different so harder to rendezvous too I figured so I chose this one. But um, the Earth rotates and then the satellite always gets another part of it to scan. That's why we're getting a map and it covers more surface, so that's the reason we've chosen that one. Here we go, stage separation, bye-bye science module. What happens if we rotate without SAS? Imagine this uh, emergency situation occurring. What do we see? Sun, Kerbin, Sun, Kerbin, Sun, Kerbin, Sun, Kerbin. That's uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you get seasick of that. So let's be happy we have some electronic power left to uh, balance us out. Uh, we have some RCS left. We could use it for some braking, but that's way too late. So we'll just drop that module as it will not survive re-entry. It also had a battery uh, in that stage, so we have to align for solar power to make sure that we can maintain SAS. If you press F12, you get the aerodynamic forces overlay. 
This makes sure that if you, for example, at re-entry, um, you can see where the vehicle gets uh, the braking forces most applied. It's a red line, and I will show you more about it later. Um, if you flying a ship, uh, a plane in the atmosphere. There it is, the red line. So as we re-entry and get back into atmosphere, we see that uh, our heat shield is very good to protect our uh, complete vessel, the whole cocoon, except for the ladder. The ladder is too much outside. I will put it more inside perhaps later on. Making sure we get some solar power and let's descend. Speeding up a bit. These are two small parachutes meant to break us in the upper atmosphere, but I, I didn't know before, but they seem to be sufficient to uh, get us to slow down enough for a soft landing, but that doesn't mean we can we can use the main parachute, of course. Just to smooth things out. I see cactus. Nice. The, the desert has been updated also, it seems, uh, as, a, as a, yeah, the decoration, the setting is a little bit different. More about that later as well. But here we are, Jebediah returns from a successful rendezvous contract, the first rendezvous in this career. And we can collect some science with this uh, service module now because it didn't do anything in orbit we already had that science deploying the antenna that's just for uh, fanciness actually but yeah nice nice landing and, and it's it's a good base to get some nice some science out as you can see we didn't land before in the desert so a very very successful mission we're going to get Jebediah out also to get him uh, plant a flag. And then we can uh, check out the settings closer home next to the Kerbal Space Center. We seem to be having trees. As I'm going to land this plane with uh, Bill, Jebediah and uh, Bob inside, we're going to get closer to one tree with this magnificent uh, scratch that very little plane those trees are huge so kerbals are a, a very little species on this planet or um, yeah trees here are just much bigger than at our place as said before if you press f12 you see the aerodynamic forces applied so here you can really test out your plane and get some information on how this uh, how every every thing works and then how you can get your plane to work better so I would like while I'm landing thank you all for watching I hope that you do subscribe pressing the red button below let's hope we do get this plane on the ground safely without losing anything never mind I hope to see you in the next episode bye bye